so in my last video um i unsold these horribly and quickly um but it's actually staying interestingly enough it's because i did burn the ends um i might still dip them in water i just didn't have to waste time boiling it i can show you the top oh that looks a lot better actually on camera in my opinion um, I'm thinking about doing more on the back. Like I said, in the back, I did just some braids, and I think I really needed like five things total. The real reason why I got them was for the protective style, but also too, I like to put my hair up. So, um, here's this. I'm just gonna leave it like that. That's fine. Oh, make it a little more fashionable. All right. That's always what I do. Okay, so just looking at the last video, I didn't really like how my face looked. Kind of still don't like how my face looks. I know why I'm breaking out on. Um, but I'm going to use this face mask. I love Lush. Uh, they're not paying me to um, do this review, but I'm going to do it anyway because I've actually been using this for four years is what it looks like. This is actually probably about to expire. Ooh, what's today's date? Ooh, all right, we really need to use it like now, now, now. Um, but I used to get this all the time. You should always recycle your containers. I used to get like Sleepy too. I think I left that. I had just moved, so there's that. Um, but I didn't like how my face looked in the last one, but I figured, oh, since this is a tutorial on hair, um, this section is on hair. I'll do it on skincare because we'll be on a skincare journey too. Um, I wonder if I should wet my face first. Nope. Oh. I know, right? I should know this. If I'm saying that I've used it for the past four years, but yeah. I've switched it up. I know that for me, the um the the blueberry clay one that can only be like consumed within a week that one um uh, and it never fails i've tried this more than once for me it actually leaves a film of clay on my face when i rinse it off no matter how many times i rinse it off i literally have to like scrub my skin off so that's something i don't know if anyone else goes through that um but i figured that i'd let you know now i'm putting this on pretty thin because i know back in the day i used to put it on thick and you don't really need to do that um actually i think the thinner the better because it has these um chunks that you kind of want to like spread out for the exfoliation process. Now, this is a fun fact right here. This is what was bothering me the whole time. Um, I don't pop pimples anymore. Ooh, don't mind me. I don't pop pimples anymore, but I popped this pimple here. This is why, because it stayed, and that's the only thing I was paying attention to on that. Oh, I don't know why I'm using my phone. To apply so i'm just gonna like rub extra there and it hurt i don't know why i popped it honestly i was been worried about something because i really do not pop pimples anymore um especially on my face so i might have done too much up there but the real reason why i put it there was well you know okay so definitely more videos to come there's a bunch of journeys that I am hoping to be on. Um, oh. Like I said, you don't really need that much. This might be too much to finish it off with. Um, please give me constructive criticism on my first one. Um, I took really long on the intro, um, and I definitely meant to say more on the 
voiceover, but because I sped it up, I wasn't able to really get all that. So maybe I'll just put that in a separate video as well, just to follow up, you know, let you know like how I came to the lock journey and like super confident, that's the best part. The other journeys that I was on took me a little bit to convince me. What's going on here? And with the lock journey, I watched like a few videos. I've been thinking about it. I know people, you know, um, I'm like, you know what? I'll tell you on a video later. So that this is uh, specifically for this. All right, so this is on like this. It says to leave on for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna leave it on for 15 minutes. Probably get some tea, some coffee maybe. See how Polly's doing. Um, check on BB, my kitty cat and my pup. Zine Bean, which you will meet soon. I think you met Bibi in the first video. She kind of came in and chilled with me for a little bit. She was a guest star. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make this one also super duper short. <clears throat> I realized that last time I wasn't speaking loud enough, so if that's a constructive criticism that you were going to give me, thank you. I had to turn up the volume down, up, down, up, down. I was also really tired, so I had no energy to be, you know, have any bass in my voice, so, you know, but I was super excited to just get that video done <clears throat> because I used to take film media classes in high school, loved it. Used to have to, all right, so here's a skill we're gonna do. Love Miss Cone, shout out to Miss Cone. Here's a skill I'm gonna teach you, all right? Now go and film and come edit, and it's gonna be due Thursday. And we're gonna watch it alrighty so it'd be like okay cool you know how to do the match shot do the match shot film the match shot with like two or three people come in edit it show it on thursday or make more than one it was really cool also won like a contest um but it was just really interesting to get back into that because i chose that as an elective <coughs> Chose a lot of electives in high school but i'm really glad that i like did them so it's actually really important don't so i should pass on this word of advice for like high schoolers and stuff middle schoolers as well and my mother always told me if she ever saw study hall on my transcript she was like uh, mm -mm -mm. no put something else in there just something else in there you know what i mean um what do we have fashion one and two you could take a cooking class you could take i would say anything else other than study hall and understand me i was like really trying to force like can i please have the study hall once because i have mad courses right now i'm taking i'm doing revision I'm doing ap's like and i'm working and i'm doing sports year round a study hall would be really 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 helpful mom um but what i would be doing in those study halls um if for like the three that I went to before she was like, ah, nope, switch it in. Um, I actually did do homework and I visited, you know, professor, not professors, teachers at the time. Um, so I wasn't just like there sleeping, you know, you should really try to get your sleep at home. I understand that there are some circumstances. Don't know how I got to that, but um, <clears throat> yes. So I will come back in 15 and show you, well, come back in 15, shower, and see if there's any results, see if I look more fresh. Cause I don't like using makeup. I never got into that yet. Maybe I will, who knows? I know I used to like wear it for certain things, like maybe prom. Cause I used to have a lot of dark, dark spots. I still do, as you can see. Um, it's really when I don't drink mad water. So as long as I keep up with my <coughs> um, whole regimen of drink half your weight in ounces every day, so, for example, I'm rounding up 140, 70 ounces a day at least. Now I'm just boop, 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 drink it quick. I think I have a 50. <clears throat> me and Polly have like a 50 ounce or milliliter, whatever, um, water bottle. So it's like, all right, let me just drink two of those. That already exceeds that whole thing, but I sometimes forget this, that, the third. Um, so. It's really, really important, at least for me, to stay hydrated. That helps with everything, everything, everything. Skin, hair, nails, mental health, bone joint, everything. You should just always stay hydrated, you know what I mean? I love seltzer, so I'm glad that I snatched some from home. Only a few, though. 
uh, love seltzer, really cleansing. So yeah, let me come back so that I can keep this video short. Hey y'all, okay. So this is the finished product. Uh, I left it on for quite a bit of time. I swapped a quiche um, shower and I like exfoliated especially on this because like I said, I popped this. You can probably see that it's raised. This is what's really bothering me, and this, and this. But I know that once I drink a bunch of this, I'll be great. Um, yeah, it's really cool. You know, traveling. Um, just I'm gonna start putting. Oh, something on my phone. I'm gonna start putting a bunch of um, stickers all over that. I have a bunch of stickers all over my laptop. That's my new thing. Um, but yeah, so I've been using um, the. Magnamenti, massive Magnamenti from Lush. For like I said, since 2016, I used to be obsessed with Lush. Um, I love the whole concept of the recycling. Um, <clears throat> um, it's, uh, I would say that Lush, um, your own homemade products, um, water. Um, the body shop, really good places for um, skincare in my opinion, also Ulta of course. Um, I would say that this gave me a little bit of brightness. I just put chapstick on, sorry for having chapped lips in the first video. It's winter you guys. Um, so, but this is my review on it, so I guess I'll just keep using that. Um, I know you're not supposed to do it every day. But I will keep you updated and we'll see how fast this goes away. It's been on there for about at least a week. I mean, luckily we wear masks, so you know, I at least still look kind of okay. Um, but honestly, so you guys, I've had acne for all the longest time. But to be honest with you, the real reason is because growing up, I never really drank water like that. It would be Capri Sun, I see. Um, then finally I switched from like, I hated milk, just hated milk, so then, you know, almond milk, and I was like, okay, you know what, seltzer, okay, I became vegan for a bit, um, but I do know that when I was more active, so I used to do sports year-round, um, you, you know, dehydration is a real thing, but I wouldn't get to that per se, um, I guess my body would like filter it some type of way. I know that my hair was always dry. I hated my hair. This is before I turned natural and everything. And then I realized, you know, my hair is talking to me. This is my sophomore year when I was 19. And I was really just every night, just honestly, and it sounds crazy and ridiculous. I hate the word crazy. So it sounds a little ludicrous and ridiculous, but I would really be just listening to what my hair is saying. Does it need water? Does it even need to, what's it called? You know, always, I think I had like self-care every night. That was the best thing. I'm going to, we just moved in about a week ago. So um, I'm really gonna try to incorporate, you know, a morning routine. It's gonna be kind of hard with Xena, my pup. Um, but the night routine is going to be super duper important. I'm going to try to incorporate exercising. I've been really, really depressed right lately, um, moving around a lot. And um, it's also winter. It's like a thing. Um, I have severe anxiety and depression. So it's just like, oh God. Because I was in Cali and it was just so much better there. But it was, I was still depressed, of course. Um, but I haven't really been exercising at all. Um, and I, like I said, I used to do uh, sports year round. Now that I'm saying that, you know, you should exercise, it'll clean your skin up. I do know for a fact that, you know, if you gulp down water, I don't, um, you know, um, you can drown yourself in drinking too much water. So don't do that. I used to be a lifeguard. I don't think they taught us that, but I do know that um, you can drink too much water in a certain span of time. Make sure that, you know, you're flushing out. Also know that if you are going to go on the journey of hydration, um that well at least for me i've always had like bladder issues so like me going back into the hydration journey i needed to always know okay you do know if you drink this down right now in about 20 minutes you're gonna have to go and like you're not gonna be able to like hold this so for example if you went to class you're gonna have to go to class first then go to the bathroom or something like that if you're gonna be like like it's gonna be kind of um 
interesting. But what helps also too, if you are going to go on that hydration journey, but I would do the hydration journey first and then incorporate, you know, um, vitamins if that's like the way that you're trying to go because it'll help, it'll absorb. And you know what, also too, if you just wanted to do the vitamins and then you'll know how much you should be drinking the water because your urine will be super duper yellow. Um, I sometimes get a little scared when it's completely clear, but it's like, oh, I'm hydrated, I don't have to worry, I probably feel better. I have really bad like bones right now, so I know that I need to be drinking water in my face. I have so many dark spots, it's just not a thing. Um, when I have water, also when I have water, um, for some odd reason, I'm just outside more. So I get like more sun, even though there's no sun. Um, I guess yesterday was the first day, that last day of winter, so hopefully, you know, sun. Um, but uh, I'm trying to like make this look good. Oh, so I will be, I don't like how these ends are, and I kind of alluded to this in the other video. I don't like it at all. Because like what I said was, see how this is dark? It means that the bottom one was the brown and I just went down. So what I might do is like cut, for example, the brown off. Cause I just, I don't know how I feel about this. It looks good when it's up, but, um, and I really don't have my hair down like that usually. Um, that's not true. With, uh, jumbo braids I do. Um, but I don't want this uh, video to be too long. Um, but I really do appreciate you being on my second video. I mean, technically it's my third, cause like I said, I did a circle video. I have no idea where that circle video is. I will gladly do another circle review but that would mean that i have to order circle again i'm also not doing circle and that would actually help me on my hydration journey look at that so that's probably what i'm going to do again thank you welcome to my channel again if i didn't mention my name before sj is what i'm going by um because i have so many personas but that's the one that i really hone in and have like you know all this leadership and whatnot i used to have my nose pierced I'm gonna probably pierce it on here myself because it did go awry the first time. I'll let you know the whole backstory about that. Yeah, I went on some crazy adventures, so I'll probably just let you know about that. Shout out to D Nasty, Dynasty Williams. Oh my god, this when we went skiing for his birthday. I'm a Nordic skier, I do not do downhill, and that was my first time doing downhill. It was my partner's first time doing, uh, not first time, actually my partner's been downhill. This is mom's first time doing downhill. It was really, really cool. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. Just giving you, you know, insight for what is to come in the future. Um, I personally don't like how the video came out with the GoPro, but I do like the different angles. Please, 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 when I say like, comment, and subscribe, it's not like, oh, like, comment, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. It's like, no like if you like it comment please especially if you don't like the video please tell me like yo too many angles you need a better transition for some odd reason it didn't let me edit the transition i wanted to transition every time i would do the angle because like i said i took that class with this cone and i just know it honestly it would just look so much better more traditional um <clears throat> it's like writing you want like a good transition um so please 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 give me all this feedback i love feedback you could be harsh if you want i'm a very blunt person so knowing me i'd be like straight up like yo this video is trash no don't say all that well you can honestly i'm open to whatever um say it how it is por favor um and yeah like i said like comment subscribe I will be making a lot of videos because I'm realizing that this phone has a decent quality and I'm um, going to definitely be upgrading my phone right now. I'm only on the 10, I think it's just the 10. Um, I always buy my phones outright. So I've only had like the 4C, I had a yellow 4C and then I had like seven that was cool and then uh, the 10 i really want the 12 pro i don't know if i want the max i have small hands uh, i'm sorry for my nails being nasty they need to uh heal so i'm on a healing journey hydration it's really just gonna be i just want everything in my body to hug me again like how it used to 
Um, I'm probably going back to vegan. I haven't really had, I've had yogurt um, because I don't like non-dairy yogurt. The, the options that I have here, if I was in Washington state, it'd be a little different, but in my opinion, where I'm at now, which I won't give up just yet, um, the options for non-dairy yogurt, I haven't gotten Whole Foods yet, so let me not say all that. Um, but for like the local stuff, um, I haven't found anything that's like not too sweet. I really don't like sweet stuff like that, you know what I mean? The sweetest thing that I like is like um, a Pop-Tart of one particular, and I really don't like any other ones. Um, it's like hot fudge sundae. That is like the sweetest thing ever. My favorite ice cream is vanilla, like sprinkles, just a little bit, just a little. I don't want all of that. So you know what I mean? And like at Starbucks, if this has too much sugar, like no, I actually usually ask for like half sweetener. You know what I mean? Don't know why I got to that, but oh, it also adds to, you know, I can tell why um, I'm breaking out the way that I am. When I'm stressed AF. Puppy, mm. no sleep. I mean, I get sleep, but now I'm drinking this tea for my sleep habits. I used to do, um, I'll make that a separate video actually. I have a lot of stuff to say and like things to deter people from. Take it, leave it if you want. I, like I said, I am definitely gonna do another update. I think I'm gonna add more. I'm starting a new job soon. So I wanna add more to the front and definitely to the back because I only put like four things total in the back. Uh, I'm not a scalp person when I say that. It's like I really don't like parting because I don't like seeing a scalp, my scalp. Um, so there's that. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the blonde. Too bad I'm running out of the black. I think I only have one black left. Not racist, I promise. Um, but I might just like add more and see how it goes. It's really just a protective style for my hair. Just want to protect it, want it to be happy, then I'll be happy. Okay, thanks for listening to this super long video. I'm really trying to keep them under 10 minutes. Um, until I do the travel ones, you don't want them to be less than 10 minutes. Trust. Okay, more to come. Thank you again. Ciao for now.